Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the fullerenes. Fullerenes can be considered as third allotrope of carbon. So, what is meant by allotrope? Allotrope means different forms of an element. Especially, carbon is having three allotropes. One being diamond, second one is graphite and the third one is fullerenes. In general, these fullerenes consist of carbon atoms only. So, coming to the shape of the fullerenes, they consist of hollow sphere structure. That means the structure of fullerenes is just similar to that of soccer ball or football. So, coming to the discovery of these fullerenes, in the year 1985, three scientists, namely Robert Curl, Harry Croto, Richard Smalley, they discovered fullerenes. So, for their work in the year 1996, they received Nobel Prize for their work. So, coming to the shape of the fullerenes, they consist of hollow spear structure. So, especially the first member of fullerenes is called as Buckminster Fullerene. So, the first member is called as Buckminster Fullerene. Especially, these fullerenes consist of general formula Cn and they consist of compounds such as C60, C70, C80 etc. So, C60 fullerene is the first member and it can be called as Buckminster fullerene. So, coming to the structure of the fullerenes, they consist of hollow spear structure. So, it is quite similar to that of football structure. So, especially when we carefully observe the structure of fullerenes, they consist of six-membered ring structures and five-membered ring structures. So, especially these fullerenes consist of hexagonal and pentagonal ring structures. So, coming to the structure of the fullerene, initially a five-membered ring structure will be present at the center. And by using these edges, we can draw the six-membered ring structures. So, around the five-membered ring structure, six-membered ring structures will be present. So, these fullerenes entirely consist of five-membered and six-membered ring structures. So, at the center, five-membered ring structure will be present and it is surrounded by six-membered ring structures. So, it is the simple structure of the fullerene which consists of six-membered and five-membered ring structures. The first member of fullerene is called as Buckminster fullerene and its formula is C60. Next, let us discuss about the types of fullerenes. So, coming to the types of fullerenes.
Fullerenes can be classified into many types and especially three members are very very important. Namely they are called as planar fullerenes. Cylindrical fullerenes. And spherical fullerenes. So coming to the planar fullerenes. Planar fullerenes means they are nothing but graphene sheets. So graphene sheet means it is nothing but graphite sheet. Graphite of one atom thickness. So planar fullerenes means best examples are graphene sheets. And how these graphene sheets can be obtained? They can be obtained from the graphite. And here we will consider graphite of one atom thickness. That means around 0 0.4 nm diameter. So they can be called as planar fullerenes. Coming to the cylindrical fullerenes, best examples are carbon nanotubes. And these carbon nanotubes are obtained by rolling this graphene sheet into a cylinder. So whenever this graphene sheet is rolled in the form of a cylinder, then it results in the formation of carbon nanotubes and they can be considered as cylindrical fullerenes. And coming to the spherical fullerenes, especially they are having hollow sphere structure and the good example is Buckminster fullerene. So these are the important types of fullerenes. Next we will discuss about the properties of fullerenes. So coming to the properties of fullerenes, especially these fullerenes consist of carbon atom only. So fullerenes entirely composed of carbon atom. That's why coming to the properties, these fullerenes are soluble in organic solvents such as carbon disulfide, carbon tetrachloride etc. At the same time these fullerenes are obtained from the graphene sheets. So generally the graphene sheets consist of six membered ring structures. So with the result they consist of symmetrical structure that means these fullerenes are chiral. Why these fullerenes are chiral? They consist of symmetrical structure. So, due to the presence of symmetrical structure, these fullerenes are chiral. Especially due to the presence of hexagonal and pentagonal ring structures, they can be hydrogenated. So, they undergoes hydrogenation more readily. At the same time, they undergoes halogenation. So, they undergo halogenation more readily and results in the formation of compounds such as C60, Br8, C60, Br. 24 etc. And coming to the stability of these fullerenes, these fullerenes are highly stable 
even at very high temperatures so fullerenes are thermally stable up to 600 degrees centigrade these are the important properties of fullerenes next we will discuss about the applications so coming to the applications of fullerenes these fullerenes are having wide range of applications especially they are ready to accept electrons why these graphene sheets or these soccer balls consists of hexagonal and pentagonal ring structures and hence if at all electrons are available they can readily accept the electrons and hence they can act as charge carriers in batteries at the same time because of the increased surface area they can act as good catalyst at the same time because of the presence of hexagonal and pentagonal ring structures they can readily accept oxygen atoms and hence they can act as powerful antioxidants especially the buckminster fullerene can be used to inhibit hiv at the same time these fullerenes are used in drug delivery systems they can be highly useful in solar cells so they are highly useful in solar cells especially these spherical fullerenes can be used as lubricants so these are the important applications of fullerenes so they can readily accept the electrons and hence they can act as charge carriers in batteries they act as good catalyst and also powerful antioxidants especially buckminster fullerene is highly useful to inhibit hiv so especially these fullerenes are used in drug delivery systems and also these fullerenes are used as lubricants in other words these fullerenes can also be used for designing soft ferromagnets this is all about the fullerenes if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day